Today, I'm going to ask an age-old question. How good is Reddit at Hearthstone? During my last stream over at twitch.tv slash Clark Hellscream, we were trying out a whole bunch of different Death Knight decks where I was trying out Jailer and Unholy and trying out some other Frost, uh, Frost Death Knight builds. But then somebody had the idea of suggesting to me a 30 card Frost Death Knight that was doing really well on the competitive Hearthstone Reddit. A user had posted it there talking about their success going from uh, Diamond 5 all the way up to Legend only using this deck and even going so far as posting a guide as to how well uh, other people could potentially do with it. So I decided to try out this deck to see how good it was and then the main reason why I decided to play it was not just because it was 30 card but because it ran a lot of different cards that I had immediately dismissed so I kind of wanted to not only test their power level but to see how someone could potentially take this deck to legend and so this kind of gave me a good idea for a potential series depending on if I could find more decks I'm interested in on, on the uh, on the reddits how good is reddit at hearthstone where we take decks that we find on reddit and see if they can work well in the top ranks in hearthstone so I thought this would be a really good idea and if you guys like this idea, feel free to like this video and subscribe to the YouTube channel to make sure that you can tell me as best as you can that you want to see more content like this. So coming up with the clips ahead, I'm going to be going over the original thread, reading it literally word for word so that way you guys have the same exact information as me. And then I'll showcase you some games to see if this deck is actually worth playing or not. But just to let you guys know, I had a lot of fun trying out this deck. So regardless of whether or not my results are good or bad, I would actually highly suggest this deck in case you guys are wanting to play Frost Death Knight and don't want... Uh, don't want to invest a bunch of dust playing the Renathal builds, but it is something that you can play if you're wanting to try and experiment with the Death Knight class. I hope you guys enjoy this video, and feel free to let me know if you want any more of these. We'll see you in the next video. But, we'll look over uh, his uh, his ideas. We'll read over the, uh, the article real quick. Just so we can get an idea of this deck. The curve looks really nice. Yeah, so it, uh, it uses Might of Minithel. Ooh, hold on a minute. I don't like that. But at the same time, we don't really have a lot of corpses. If the whole point of this deck is just to make it to the Frostworm turn, I guess this could make sense. All right, let's read, let's read, let's read the guide and then we'll make our decision. I've toyed around with a few decks in this expansion, including Spell Demon Hunter, Blood DK, and Unholy DK, but Frost is what I played in WoW, the original uh, Wrath of the Lich King, so I decided to give it a shot. Initially, the deck struggled quite a lot trying to shoehorn some uh, some of the cards in that seemed to be uh, intended for its design, such as Marigar Manipulator, Overseer Frigidara, and Death Chiller. I've tried iterations, including Renathal, but found these decks included too much blow and weren't as consistent as my final list. And today, the only real deck I consider to choose an auto loss is Ramp Druid. That's fine. Ultimately, the list I have settled on from Diamond... Uh, from Diamond 5 to Legend, probably closer than 65% win rate can be found below. Weaknesses, excessive health restoration, armor generation, the only real matchup I considered an auto loss is Ramp Druid, but you can still manage to pull off wins against them. Incredible board control with the uh, Might of Menethil and Frostworm Fury. Uh, you can have great card duplication and uh, generation between Lady Death Whisper, Frost Strike, and Nerubian Vizier to get more of your win conditions. You have enough spell damage out of hand and, uh, and board control that most of the decks you need only do 5 to 10 damage to face, survive on 10, and then win from Frost from Fury to spam the board and finish in whatever assess assortment of direct spell damage you have in hand. Card choices, I'm not going to go over all my choices, but I wanted to highlight some of the decisions below. Double Frost Room is mandatory. This card is the whole reason why this deck can happen. I would agree with that. Guild Trader, I've toyed with 1 and 2, and none. I think 2 is mandatory and gives you game flexibility and trade and game ending uh, reach. I would also agree with that. Frijara is a great card, but too slow and often rots in hand. Uh, Marigard Manipulator, great card, but too slow and often doesn't uh, doesn't have the required corpse generation to make its full effect. Uh, Darubian Vizier, times 2 is mandatory. The potential of discount on Discovery uh, puts it in a league of its own from other discard, uh, Discover cards available to us. Double Might of Menethil is mandatory. Okay, I'm interested to read this. The uh, a freeze effect is uh, what makes this uh, so Looks powerful. Like Provides us with mid-game uh, board control to survive our late game of Frost Respam. Okay, so it's about the reason I thought it would be. Uh, I will also keep one Frost Room Fury in hand. Oh, okay. Almost always keep one in hand. It is important uh, to the success of the deck. Otherwise, I am not looking for... Fro uh, otherwise, I am looking for Frost Breakers, Frost Strike... Uh, Harbingers, Chill Farm, Baron, Nerubian Vizier, and I will consider keeping Lady as well as depending initial Frost Spells in hand. But that said, one mistake I made early with Death Whisper is that I would be way too greedy and try to get duplicate as many spells as possible. You really only need to duplicate a worm for it to be worth it. I've included an assessment of uh, an assortment of matchup replays in order to give you an idea on how to play the deck below. Oh, I'm just barely reaching 400 so far with the uh, Unholy Token Death Knight. No. Thank you. Thank you for initiating this hype train. So if you're if you're if you're gonna hype on this train, it's time it's time to hop on now. Time to hop on now. 
I'm just barely reaching 400 so far with Unholy Token Death Knight. Wait, you're already at 400? Damn, dude. That is commitment. Okay, so you see, this is why I hate this card. I don't even remember what cards I threw away, but good lord. Uh, yeah, this is, uh... <laughs> Come on, give me some Frost cards. There we go. Now I can maybe make them 3-2s. There we go. Two 3-2s really early. Probably could replace it with a better 1-drop. Like what, though? Like Peasant? Peasant gets killed a lot. We're just gonna try this guy's list and see how it works. We'll try it card for card. Uh, and if it and if it doesn't work, then I can be like, I made a deck, uh, uh, or I saw a deck on Reddit, I decided to play it, and we'll see how good it is. Is Reddit good at Hearthstone? That actually is a good question. That actually is like a really good idea. I, I, I really like that idea. Okay, so now we're just gonna do this. We got three twos. Hopefully we don't get Radiant Elemental. I'll be honest, a 2-2 two -two, uh, for 1 is not even that bad, is it? It's not the fact that it's bad, it's that there are plenty of ways in order to invalidate it. Yo! Kiss my, uh, kiss my ass! Kiss my ass! Hilarious name, by the way. Uh, you know, suddenly I am reminded of a joke. What do you get when you cross an owl with a bungee cord? My ass. <laughs> Enough. It is time for serious card games. <laughs> okay, that was a lot of damage. If this was a priest, I would actually... If this wasn't a priest, I would feel accomplished. I mean, I'm sorry, but unfortunately, this is a priest. I mean, honestly, Might of Minithal is not that bad here. It's just, like, damage. Talk about tempo, dude. Like, we are actually, like, pushing tempo. I mean, hey yo. Technically lethal if he doesn't go go wombo combo, but it's turn six and as Boon Priest. You gotta go wombo combo, right? Okay. He's literally going for a Hail Mary. Did he just not hit the car? I mean he didn't hit um what's it called? Um He didn't hit Switcheroo. That's kind of unlucky. Oh my lord. Oh, wait, that's lethal. Yo, weapon actually worked. Huh. I mean, granted, the only reason we won this is because he didn't draw switcheroo. But I mean, hey, 1-0. The, the weapon was actually pretty decent. But even then, like, master spells, or, or I'm sorry, it's Charlotte Naru is how you get rid of that. So I don't think that, I don't think that's how you solve that card. I feel like what you need to do is just uh hit radiant elemental and without radiant elemental that deck cannot work it just can't how about slither uh naga as a one drop hmm we're not really tempoing a lot of our spells though like the like i've i've played slither spear in the 40 card version but like the issue with slither spear is that if you okay if you play it on one it's great play it on two slows down play it on three suddenly it becomes useless but I would argue that Slither Spear is worse because um, you you like you, you don't want to always play your spells, and you have like cards like Frost Strike that you literally can't play on Slither Spear. I just like nerfing uh, core cards. Well, I mean, you nerf it for now, and then when it rotates out, you set it back because it's not going to stay core. I I don't like nerfing some cards too for that for that same reason. But Radiant Elemental is just so egregious when you play it in Boon. It's it's just it's just too much. Yeah, about about as much as I expected from that card. <laughs> yeah, 40 card priest, this has to be like another like unwinnable game, right? I have no idea how we beat 40 card priest. Like we would have to go all in on with like the frost worms for that. There's definitely no way that we're doing it with um with like regular bits of damage. Okay, not bad play. The time has come to throw my master. We do what the living cannot. Sixteen. The issue with this deck is that like we're kind of I mean, we're kind of it's pretty much the same as the forty card deck, it's just we're all lit on combo. We don't like have like a bunch of other minions to like really supplement. Like, this is a tempo deck, but at the same time, a lot of the cards are cycle. 
The only real tempo that we have is the one drop, the bone breaker, the astalore. I guess like the two and the three drop technically, but then like everything else is just like value and control. I guess we'll do this and if it hits this we can just always freeze it. Or I could just knock it out. Alright. If he's got a silence, he's just gonna have to use it. Unfortunately in this matchup, like I just can't I mean I can't let Lady Death Whisper get silenced, but there's only one way to make sure it doesn't get silenced, and that's automatically killing it. But if I can't do that, then I have to run it in myself. Okay. Okay. Would a more would a more minion course uh, corpse based early package uh, and a smaller burn package work? In this deck? Like if we were to optimize this deck, you're pretty much asking us what would we do to optimize this deck? It's a good question. What would we replace? The weapon honestly might need to be replaced, especially in high legend. Oh my god, you hit my guild trader. Okay. And like this is exactly what I need about like the weapon, right? Like, in situations like this, like, against Priest, I, I think Priest is just a bad matchup. Like, if we were to put in more corpse-based cards, and we had to put in Marrow Manipulator, that's a more expensive card. Kind of contributes to the clunkiness. There's just, there's not really a lot of, like, minion generation that you have available in this deck, you know? Alright, so this is where, this is where we start to do this. He needs to have the answers. But I need to hit Horn the Winner if I'm going to play it with the Skilled Trader, unless I top deck the other one. Okay, so I can hit this. I mean, if he doesn't clear, this is lethal. Maybe this is another way to use this minion. Like, it is just a 7-2. This is actually the most impressive way that I've ever seen uh, this Frostbreaker work. Granted, it is very easy to get rid of it. Okay. Does he not have clear? Man, why does this 40 card deck always have the clear? Literally cannot avoid it. Okay. Only option I feel like I really have at this point. You're a 40 card deck. You haven't been drawing a whole lot. You have been trading a lot though. Nothing proactive makes me angry. I mean, we've got proactivity. It's just, oh, oh my God. Stop having it. Ugh. Oh my god. Rise, and exult in your pure form. 32 damage. 32 damage. Come on. Come on. Let this happen. Let this happen. 32 damage. He's trying so hard to find silence. No, 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 he's gonna find it, he's gonna find it, he's gonna find it. No, 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 not like this. Why? Ugh. The Citadel stands strong. Oh my. Oy, oy, oy. How does this deck always find the answer? It's uh, it's it's because a lot of people are figuring out how to play around it, and now of course he hits that right off the top. If only this was enough. Such a damn shame, dude. 
I don't think there's any draw that can do it here, right? Like, also, think about it. If my guild trader didn't get hit by both of the watch posts, I would have been able to have finished this game faster again. Oh, my God. Yeah, 40-card priest is apparently a winnable, ma oh, a winnable matchup. Apparently it is, but good lord, my opponent just yeah, literally did not have a bad turn. They quite literally did not have a bad turn. Yeah, so dumb, dude. That was like actually like a freaking, that was a YouTube clip right there, dude. That was actually a YouTube clip. It's, it's, it's really annoying that it's fun. It's really annoying that card games are super fun, but the investment that you have to put into them at times is either your time or your money. Like, it really feels like the only way to play Hearthstone, or at least to play ranked, uh, free to play, is to play Aggro Druid. And that's just, like, one of the most, like, you know, most boring decks that I would recommend to anybody. Because it just does the same thing over and over again. Like, it, it works. It can work, and some people like the idea of, uh, token-based gaming. But overall, like, I like my decks to have some kind of variety. Or, like, something like this copying like a wing condition over and over again wait what hello 40 card quest what am i missing what is he he's just gonna kill me with regular life steal druid isn't he or life life steal demon hunter all right freaking silence my tutu Sure, what's gonna be the wing condition of this deck? My main uh, is main decking Sigil of Silence? Yeah, my my man. <laughs> my man! It, at least that's, that's how I've always felt. I love the slower deck, but the slower decks are also way more expensive, unfortunately. Omega Loading! Thank you for the follow, mate. Good to have you here. One of these days, I am planning on, uh, on doing more giveaways. That is something to think of. Ooh, hello. Hello, resources. Whoa. Now these are- now these are some big folks. Those are- oh my god, dude. Granted, a fell barrage is all you need to do to knock them out, but let's not think about that. I guess I'll go with Glacial Advance. Marrow? Nah, it's probably just the the, the frost. Like we've we're already freezing them for a bunch of turns. See so if one of these even connects. Like you know, actually, I should have gone with the howling blast. Howling blast to face would have like literally killed them. It, why didn't I howling blast? Howling blast over this would have been like so good. Are you telling me you do not have a way to clear this? No. Bell barrage. You. D <laughs> no! No way! I've never heard this minion attack! Oh my god! What is going on? What is going on? <laughs> this is so brutal! It's a rusted inquisitor. <laughs> I call this card bad, dude. I call this card bad, and I think I'm I think I'm eating my words now. They know how to queue into the deck that's playing 40 card quest. <laughs> oh my god. I came to the conclusion that the uh the people who enjoy the more aggressive decks are pretty outnumbered by those who prefer combo and those who prefer control. Honestly, if I had found an aggro deck streamer, I'd be all over that. I mean, there are definitely aggro deck streamers, but right now aggro decks are struggling. But good lord, like, who needs Frostworm Theories when apparently a one a one drop nine two solos the game? I am actually baffled. I'm actually baffled at, at, at how that how that work. Okay, fighting a shaman. Like, you can make an argument that keeping the, uh, the Rubian Vizier is actually kind of good, but I think right now, I don't think I want it. 
I hit my 500th win as Demon Hunter. Yo, congrats on the Golden Portrait, mate. I hope you enjoy it. You definitely deserve it if you get a Golden Portrait, man. Every month the season resets. Wait. You remember the 3-3 three, three, that far- Oh! Oh, that. Oh. I- Okay, no, I did not remember that card. I definitely did not remember that card. By the way, my 3-2 is better than your 3-2. Uh, deal with it. I've already got a weapon that I can coin out, so I think I'm just gonna hold on to this. Because AoE against what is clearly a, a Murloc Shaman is very good. Where's my Remorseless Winter? Remorseless Winter would be exactly what I want in this matchup. I guess I can one drop into Ice Touch. We get rid of the one that costs more mana. This on four, coin this on five, or I could play this on four depending on how far or how wide he goes. Okay, yeah, I like this more. Or, let's see what happens here. This is just one attack, right? Yeah, we'll do this then. Set up the AoE. And if I need to, I have Astalor in order to like kind of like divvy things up a little bit. Summon a 2 2 copy of it. Don't really care too much about that. I'm really surprised to be seeing an aggro shaman at this rank. Like, good lord, like, I'm queuing into, like, th like matchups I would not be expecting. But hey, yo, like, we're getting some wins with this deck. I built Drek'thar Unholy Token uh, D uh, Death Knight. I'm so far 16 to 13 with it. I am upset. I am not upset remotely. Make that 17 to 13. Dude, imagine if Drek'thar was unnerfed. That deck could actually be, like, kind of giga busted. And, like, something else. That'd be so pog. Okay, Guild Traitor. So I can Glacial Advance this. Touch that. Astalor that. Play that. Trade this. Boom, boom, wins game. GG. I mean, this is just like the power of Frostworm Fury, dude. Like, people want to say that Death Knight is bad, and then they get frozen over and over again. They're like, wait a minute, what, what's going on? I thought Shaman was the third highest win rate class on HS Replay. In fact, isn't that the truth? Let me double check. What What is... Oh, what is this? Shaman... Yeah, Shaman rank 2. Shaman rank 2, Death Knight 10. Oh, man. Death Knight's so weak, dude. I just I just don't understand how Death Knight can win a game of Hearthstone. These cards are good, damn it. Like, you can't tell me that Frostworm Fury is not a giga-tier card. Absolutely broken card. If this was in any other class... This would be even better. Especially like a, like a, like, imagine this in Mage. Oh my god. They cannot put this in Mage with like Blizzards and, oh my god. Yeah, it's Giga Tier. Like, it's not even S Tier, dude. It's Giga Tier. It's a Giga Tier card. What, what, what do I mean by Giga Tier? I mean, I mean a card that literally makes the entire archetype possible. Although, this is very worrisome. I think I'm still just gonna do this. Well, hold on a minute. If I do that, then I lose my minions, though. Can I prevent that? No, I can't, actually. I guess we're just doing this again. Yeah, that was a really annoying Burkhan. But we could still come back. He's gonna hear a power, get rid of this. Maybe he has like a, tr a Rush Murloc. But then I'm gonna set up the Astalor, and I think that's definitely gonna be game over. This with this is really good. Could you show a uh, Hearthstone replay uh, decks on Legend? Uh, yeah, let me, I'll show that after this. And I can show you what the uh, what the best, uh, the the best decks are according to the stats. What rank are you at, by the way? Because the, obviously the decks change, but depending on what you're seeing at what level, it uh, might change uh, what deck I suggest. Target 2, 3. Oh, oh, no, you're right, you're right. No, you're actually right, Ulticon. No, you're 100% right. That should have been the play. That actually should have been the play. I think I'm going to discover a card instead because this doesn't really kill anything. Uh, X68, right? I mean, even if he does, like, increase the attack on these, I've got 25 life. Uh, this deck might have a way to beat it. It's probably unlikely. But... 
it looks like I'm definitely winning this game here. <laughs> yeah, I think Fro a Frost Death Knight and Blood Death Knight, it's a really, it's, it gets really annoying for the Frost Death Knight to close the game out. And now with like, um, the addition of, what's it called? The addition of watch posts, it makes it harder for us to have the mana. You're in silver 10? Oh, you're diamond 9 through 8. Okay, let's take a look at the decks. So far, we are we are 3 and 1 with this deck. It looks like Reddit can play Hearthstone. I think we can I think we can confirm that now. Reddit can play Hearthstone. <laughs>